last time I built the um, composite mud here. If you wish to go through all that, then the link to the video to part one, or the part two I should say, is in the description below. And uh, today what I'm going to do is open this beautiful console out and then, you know, try and fit this in there and test if it works. Now my RCA cables finally freaking arrived, so um, I can like, you know, just temporarily put this on and, um, you know, test it out to see how it works. And also go inside this thing and see if anything needs restoring and if there's any capacitors I'm just gonna replace them outright. And no, there's not gonna be that many. <laughs> so, let's get started. And now it's time to open and it's my first time that I've, you know, been inside one of these. <laughs> okay, that's just done. It's fairly neat inside. What is this? Why is this? Why is this like two capacitors in freaking series? Oh no, they're not. They're in parallel. Why are there two capacitors in parallel here? 1000 microfarad, 25 volts. Best thing to do is just get this out and get a 2000 freaking microfarad, you know, 25 volts in here. We have two more screws here that we need to take apart and let's take this very nice shielding. <laughs> this is like RF shielding and it's like solid metal. There's no freaking tin foil here. <laughs> you know, it's actually quite decent. I wonder what made the heavy sixer heavy inside. The okay, terrible, terrible thing I'm doing here. I'm using one of my really nice uh, Turkish tea glasses <laughs> as um, a screw holder. The Rest assured, I'm not gonna accidentally drink some screws. <laughs> oh, okay, it's one. It's basically all it is. This thing, it's one of those leads. It's one of those RF leads going inside there. Okay, that's cool. So I don't need to kind of like you know cut this freaking wire off or anything like this. I can just like take this nonsense out and just <laughs> no. Oh, hold on, hold on. These switch um, things have just come off. These switch guard things. Let's put that in the tea concoction. <laughs> and you know what? Everything is actually nice and clean. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, and if I'm gonna replace capacitors, which I am gonna do, there is only one and two. <laughs> There's only two capacitors to replace. Oh no, three capacitors, seven. There's one over here. Cool, that's probably the easiest rehab job I'm ever gonna do. <laughs> okay, so what do we have to do first is remove this transistor here, which is Q202. And um, there is a resistor on some of these. Uh, it's the R213, it should be around here, however, not all of them have it, I think. <laughs> you know, mine doesn't have it because of, you know, it has an R214, R212, but I cannot find an R213 anywhere, and normally it should be here. But it's not, so, and also the instructions say if you have it. So, so I assume this doesn't. Now, you remove this one, that resistor if it's there, and you remove this uh, Q202. To get the audio, the audio, you turn the board around here, this pin here, this third one here, you see this long chip here, and go one, two, and three. Now what I'm gonna do here is carefully cut this transistor, um, I'll probably just cut it close to the bottom, because um, just in case things don't go right and I have to reverse everything, I can just re-solder it on the top. So the only thing left to do is, you know, to solder this thing on the composite mod and find the right places. And that, so the composite out is not actually on the main board here. It is actually on underneath this thing, which we don't need to kind of, you know, open this out. Um, you can just turn it around and access the pins here. There's these pins there. You can access them. And they're all next to each other. Okay, so starting at right at the end here. 
Now right at the end this one is ground and you can, you know, the clue that it's ground is the fact that you can see the entire trace here, you know, it's like gauzing all the way here. Um, so basically that point there is ground, you know. And uh, the next one is nothing. The third one here is plus faults. So if you don't want to like, you know, cramp it there, you can get it from this point here. This is plus faults. And the next one, and the one next to it is the composite out, the video out, or the video in, video out, whatever. And that composite, you can get it from this pad here. So and rather than, you know, crunching the freaking solder from here, I'm gonna like solder them on here. And once I do that, I'm just gonna like, you know, put it to semi, put it together, test it, and then see if everything works. Now on my composite mod, yeah, the wires are long and I did that on purpose. So if you watched last week, you will know that this white one, this is the um, uh, input, you know, the video in to this, and this is the uh, plus faults, and that is going to be ground. So yeah, we got everything here that we need. So let's just kind of put some fresh solder on this thing, because these are very old solder joints. three here, this composite out, this plus five belts and this crown have now been prepared <laughs> and uh, we just need to solder on the right wires to everything. So we got them on and we have the output here and all I need to do is just test this thing, just roughly put it back together and test it. Make sure everything works, make sure the output works. And of course, before I permanently put this back in, I'm gonna give this case, you know, a good cleaning. You can see there's freaking dust and stuff here, so I want that nice and clean. Okay, so we are here and we're gonna test this thing. Hopefully it works because I cannot be bothered doing any troubleshooting thing. <gasps> it works. It works. It's not clear. It's composite, of course, but it works. Of course, there's not going to be any sound because I didn't do the audio part of it. Yay! This is good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, remove that inductor that was there because it said that it improves the um, video quality. So, you know, now that I know it works, I know that if I remove that, you know, inductor, it'll be. You know, if anything goes wrong, I can just like, you know, put it back in. Everything should be fine. <laughs> it's nice when things work. Okay, so as much as I can help it, I'm not going to get the desoldering gun out, desoldering pump out, because it's just a hassle to set it up just for like a few little components. I'm just going to like heat that up and just pull it from the other side. And also, it is, you know, almost 3 a.m., so I don't want to like, you know, create so much freaking noise at night. Actually, what would be good here is um, um, adding fresh solder to this. So I removed that and we determined it and one of the things I want to do is go rid of this freaking monstrosity. Um, it's just, it just does not feel safe. <laughs> uh, and rather than, you know, desolder it from the board, what I'm going to do is just, you know, solder it from the top here, like a solder point. Okay, so I took this freaking monstrosity out. And it's basically just two 25 volt, uh, thousand microfarad uh, capacitors, you know, parallel together, which is not nice because you can easily just short them like that. And that's yeah, nice because you can easily just short them like that. So yeah, that's I got rid of that, and instead I put one 35 volt. Uh, 2000 microfarad capacitor here, which is like you know, less of a monstrosity. 
<laughs> so basically when you parallel capacitors you double their uh, what do you call it capacitance like you know if it's to 1000 microfarads you'll end up being um, 2000 microfarads however if you put them in series you will double the I think you will double their voltage you know as in uh, what voltage they can handle and I think the um, capacitance will have okay so this dude here is a 4.7 microfarad is it 4.7 yeah it's 4.7 microfarad 35 volts so I should put them okay there is one more capacitor on here okay so this one here replaced and also this one here replaced too so that's it that's recap three freaking capacitors that's all well, that's the easiest recap job I've ever done in my life <laughs> okay so this is what the composite mode looks like when we're all done and uh, let's go through it again so we have uh, the board here and we have over here we have the composite coming from the board coming from the main board going into our mod then we have the plus 5 volts going into our mod and then we have um, ground again you know and then from the mod board itself we have a ground and we have a composite output going into an RCA now over here in the center we have a green wire coming from here and we have the ground coming from one of the ground you know, pins there and that's the mono audio going into the RCA, the second RCA, and that's it. Now all we need to do is desolder these test RCA sockets and mount them into the casing. Now the holes mounted here for the RCA sockets, one for the audio, one for the video. Yes, I'm gonna keep the audio ground and the video ground separate because I do not want, you know, any risk of extra noise in the audio because I hate that, it's just annoying. So that's all for today thanks so much for your likes your shares do leave your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more for now i will say adios i would like to say a big thank you to my patrons james burr gadgetuk 164 robert menis Casual Commodore, Sophie Leroy, Hazemaker, Sean O'Keefe, Rudiger Stiedel, Al Han, Cameron Armstrong, Rofi Oderstein, Linus Johansson, Karsten Lerbat, and Anthony Wittingham. If you wish to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below as well as links to my Patreon's websites or YouTube channels.